time though. Over the period, we've seen how the Euros 2024 has turned out wonderfully. Shocking result with bigger countries crashing out. Portugal went one way. Germany, the hosting nation, crashed out. Even France was out too. But now all road leagues to the Olympic Stadium in Berlin, Germany, for the final against Spain versus England. Wow, it's going to be astonishing. It's going to be a tough match. But before we go into details, my name is Charles, and this is final which we're going to basically everything about sports. Football in Turkey, so trust me, you love to stay with us. Official Allah, anyway, you guys are welcome aboard. Yes, Official Allah, sir. the final is upon us again on Sunday. Yes. England taking Spain. What do you think? Yes, uh, two big teams. Yeah. I won't lie to you. They were before during during the build up to the tournament. I think Spain, England were the, were one of the favorites to be in the final and to win the tournament, mm -hmm. and they didn't disappoint. Uh, they had good, fantastic. Run. I think Spain had more comfortable run, not because of the opponent. Because of the result and the way they played, I think overall they've considered just uh, one open play goal. The chance to say how solid their defense is. Unlike England, they had to dig deep from the group stage, you just patch, 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 patch. You understand? Uh, they had to do many comebacks to win the game. You understand? So, Spain, exceptional team, exceptional players. Do we need to say it? Yemi Lama. You understand? He broke so many records. I just want to say happy birthday to him. He just turned 17. You understand? So, I wish him the best and nothing but the best. What a player with uh, about three assists and a goal in the tournament so far. I agree with you. one of the names, one of the favorites mm -hmm. to win the uh, most valuable player of the tournament. If not the youngest player of the tournament, but most valuable player of the tournament. Had good runs, link up play, spot on, fantastic. You understand? Link up well with the likes of Danny Omo and uh, Williams. Inaki, uh, Nico Williams, rather, sorry. We see Nico Williams now being linked with the likes of. Barcelona to tell you how good he is. You know, they have to clear their books. We know the Barcelona are in financial crisis, but they have to clear their books because they will need to get uh, Nico Williams. We saw Barcelona president came outside two days ago saying that, okay, now they are now financially stable to sign a player of such quality. And I won't take anything away from England. You understand? Fantastic player. We all know the quality of the Premier League and they brought up big names of players. I know some of us are disappointed with some results lately because they had to do comebacks and everything. Because we feel that uh, uh, Gareth Salgi has the machinery on the bench yes, in the team to make a strong starting lineup and win games. But we feel that he's not doing much. And we feel that his sub has been wrong over the course of the tournament. Except for last game that he brought on Ole Watkins together with Paul Palmer. And we saw instant uh, results. So we actually saw that, okay. There's actually something in his brain that there's actually something he's thinking about. So let's watch how the tournament and let's see how it goes. You know, uh, anyway, talking about the quality of players in both sides, <laughs> who do you give it to? Uh, obviously, I don't speak English, so I want to I want to see from another hand. I know you will never support. Okay. So no, it's not about it's not, it's not about being supportive. <laughs> I think this will go down as one of it, it is one of the most anticipated matches that we have always wanted. But if we look at Nigeria, Nigeria as a country now, we've had our fan base in between. La Liga and Premier League, and there's been this um, notion, there's been, there's been this school of thought that uh, La Liga is more interesting than the Premier League. La Liga is more competitive. One is more so. There, there has been an argument over the years. So I think this match would probably give us um, a clear, a clear view of which which um, league is is more better. So if we are looking at our players that will probably stand out. I feel, I feel over the years, players names don't play football again. I think it's how you can be able to make use of what you have. Look at the Nigerian team now. We have a whole set of players that we are still struggling to qualify for the World Cup. So we have good players, but now we are still struggling to qualify for the World Cup. If you look at the Euros as a, as, as, as a competition, we've had teams that have had a lot of good players crash out. Look at Germany. Look at France. Look at Portugal. You understand? So, they are, so it, it, it is more evident that players don't play, play um, names don't play football again. So it's how you can be able to manage your team. It's what, which I feel like English team is lacking. Forget the fact that they are in the final. Yeah. If you judge by their, the run of games they've had, I think the last match is probably, apparently the first match they're going to play that, that, that is going to be a little Tough. bit more like they are, they are, look at their yeah. run, their run of from, 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 yeah, and they have the best um, run of games. Yeah. So, and look at the way they are struggling. I think the first, the first match I have watched that have been so convincing was just the first half of Netherlands, England, yeah. the last one they played. Yeah. The other matches were rubbish. 
and look at Spain, hundred percent decent. You understand? Even even the the last match they played, when they have they had six points already, the last match they played, when they had to um, rest some players, that they had to probably use some of the players. They still got maximum three points. One zero, I think against Albania. One zero. So I should tell you that they have the depth. Even when the uh, the, the the major players are not playing, they still have um, some particular set of players that they can rely on on the bench. I look at um, the likes of Rodri. Fantastic! He had the fantastic season with Manchester City. Superb. So they they they, they host like that. Then then now their team is now basically based on the the youth the youth now. You understand? Look at Nico Williams. Look at what he's doing. Look at Yama. Look at the uh, Danny Homo. You understand? Those guys are. They can they can they can turn um, day to night. They are so fantastic. They know no, no, that's the truth. Now, but if you look at the other side, English team, they are they, it's always start studded. But when it comes to to play, that's and where the problem right? problem is. Yeah. You understand? You understand? That's where the problem is. And then they do, I'm not sure their manager knows what he's doing because at this point, if you are still going to be sticking with Bellingham, which I have always said, you will still have that conversation about that guy. Some whole, whole so of time. Time. he has not been impressive. You understand? Oh, because I would have said, left to me. I feel like Bellingham is just um is just uh he's just he's just has just been he has, he has just been overhyped, you understand? Yeah. He's just like a daily ali with grace. A daily ali with grace. At twenty one daily ali had better start than him. That's what I'm saying. At so 21. I don't know. I I am not I'm not surprised that the English players are pushing his agenda, it's normal as usual. We've seen them doing with the likes of uh, uh Wish here. That didn't even eventually see see the light of the day. You understand? We've seen a lot of players like that, you understand? So I'm not sure surprised they are doing it. With, with him now, so if you can go, Hurricane, Hurricane to me is is a good striker. Yeah, but but I, I feel like well well. yeah, and then the system that the coach is trying to play, you have so much players that play deep. Hurricane likes to play deep. You are not supposed to play deep as, as a striker. When you have offensive midfielders that can play that deep, can that position. Now you are giving, you are, you are leaving your your position to come to the midfield to play. When you have a lot of players that can play in that yeah. position already, which is you are leaving your your primary assignment as a striker. You're supposed to be in final third, and then when the ball. Are, Find himself in the final, there's no striker. You saw what what King was able to do in the, in the space of a few minutes that I was introduced to the match. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that I feel like if um the coach knows what he's doing, I feel like he's supposed to sh- shape up the team with some new addition. But I don't see him being that because he does not have the boss to do that. You, you understand? Know, you know, uh, anyway, I was going to talk about the coaching aspect. Mm-hmm. One thing is to have the player. The other thing is to have good management of the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen the spin side. They have done. Wonderfully well in their own side. The, the, the players they have, the kind of players they have. Now on the England side, Southgate, on the other hand, have the players, but they are not turning up. They are not meeting up the expectations. Yeah. Coming back to from one zero to narrowly win. Do you think the coaching pattern of this side is not going, is not going to play a vital role in this final? Then maybe it's going to because yeah. the match the match might be won from the bench. You understand? The match might be won from the bench. You can mark my words. The match is going to be won from the bench. And what are you bringing in? That's why we have the, the technical team, you that are sitting on the bench, because it's, it's, it takes somebody to play, to play, to be on the pitch. You are on the, you're on the bench, you are, you are the one that is going to be reading what is happening on the bench. So when you have a twist, the ability to be able to bring in one or two players is what matters. The reason why people are giving him the kudos was because of the submission he did, that eventually What's turned out. So how, how, how do you wait? You have, you are, you are in the tournament, you have a easy run from the group stage to the finals, and then you just have one match that people can praise you for. Or doing a good submission. Still, you still left. You still made some very, very, um, very, very unreasonable submission. You left Belgium that was yellow card. Was yellow carded on the, in the match. You understand? So if you had just one match out of like three or four matches that you had, so for them to play, you that means there's nothing upstairs for you as a coach. You understand? And I'm not going to lie to you. If he had not got into this stage, if he had left this tournament early, they would have sacked him because they know that he doesn't have anything to offer. Compared to the Spanish team, you saw what they brought in. Uh, they game right from the start, hundred percent record. They won all their matches at group stage. Every every of their 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 um, 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 qualification, they, they 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 showed that they had class. They qualified. Now when they go to the tournament, their group stage, they, they you understand? They showed that this is a t- this, we are we are the team to beat in this tournament. You understand? So you look at look at the submission he did against um Germany. The guy, but the Moreno guy that got the goal, what, you understand? He got the goal at the last minute of the game. That should tell you a, a team that has a technical depth. That's the technical ability. We have not been seeing that from the English team. Yes, it has not been materializing. Yes, now, uh, maybe like say we leave official Allah hanging. Now, official Allah, <laughs> this final, who do you think is going home with trophy? I think Ewa said it. Substitution will win whichever team they game this this final. You understand? They will try to be. It will be try. It will be a KG first half. 
both teams being careful, trying to play safe. But I think second half, with the impact of the substitution, I think England will win as a Chelsea fan. Okay. Having three players, you understand? Yeah. Is it three? I think, okay, it's, it's not being sentimental. It's because of what I know England can do if they do it. Yeah. If the coach make the right decision at the right time. I'm giving it to England 3-1. Wow, yeah. like giving it to England. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In as much as I don't want to allow to see Lassie, like, official to see Lassie, like, I'm going against him. I, I believe, um, uh, like I said, the match is going to be won from the bench. You understand? Yeah. And I, I really want to, I really want to prove a point to uh, La Liga brothers that English Premier League is more competitive, yeah. is more better. In as much as I have wanted England to win, but they are not showing the fact that they can win this tournament. I think if the 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 ball is in their court, if they want to win. You understand? Do it with this. Is like this is like I've not seen like, when I started watching football. I've not seen England get to a major final like this. If they have not even won a major trophy, you know, no, 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 no. you understand? In fact, you get to a point. I feel like Super Rugby might even win a major yes. trophy before yes. before English team because you understand. <laughs> good, the good days of when only they they yeah. were able to do a, a lot. Of this. Now they are getting it. I think if it is it is just it is just to lose at this point. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. You guys give me the best and nothing but the best. Now, all road links to Olympic Stadium in Berlin. Damn me for the final. Let's know what you feel in the comment section. Who is going home with the trophy? Who is taking the glory home this time around? And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's know what you feel in the comment section. And don't forget to follow our channel. And find out who's going to live. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.